So guys, we are back home, but King Harold has taken command. Basically, he's now the rightful king, and Sigurd and Eivor are not very happy at all. So I feel like something's about to go down. We're about to be banished from this world. Maybe sent to England, who knows? You there! What Ooh. are you doing? If you wish to have words, come closer. Okay. Speak, maybe? What was that about? Getting very aggressive. Wow. Oh uh, yeah, if you guys could be awesome, I appreciate all the love and support in the comments with the like button. We are playing on a next-gen console, the Xbox Series X. Oh yes. Do we go inside? Knock. It's Eivor. No, no. Open the door. Come in, but keep your voice down. You will alert Harald's men. Where will we live? The English will fight back. The wash will never end. Two days ago, we rid this land of Kjotve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that, my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harald's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward. To newer lands. To England. And there make a new home. A kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages, I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home, but the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? Kjotve's riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It is within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. Ooh, okay. So there is multiple decisions in the game, and this is one of the first ones. Uh, oh, it would be a lot easier to take the resources to England, but I'm going to leave them here. I'm leaving them here. Yeah. If you object, I understand. Let your father keep Kjotvis riches. England will have riches and cargo enough for us. Good. I did not want this cloud hanging over us. It is a wise leader who considers the need of others. To England, then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed, and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell. Farewell. To England we go! I don't think there has to be any plans made before we go, or we just jump on the ship and that's it. I guess we're going to see what happens. I feel like King Harold might potentially find out. Whee! He's going to find out, surely. And he's going to be fuming. Absolutely fuming. Yeah, so far I'm really enjoying the game. Again, I wasn't sure I needed a new Assassin's Creed game. But being this setting with these characters, with this world... I'm, I'm really liking it. Hope you guys are enjoying it as well. I find Grabbing some berries on the way. You think one will marry you and carry you off to the capital? Right, we should go. Are you ready? 
Rubber. Eivor, the wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory. But the act of leaving so beloved a home, there is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? I am ready. It's time to go. I'm hoping we do come back eventually, but I think it's time for us to leave. We should go now. I'm ready. No hesitation. Let us tank to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look. Ah, poop. Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. What does he want? I ain't your prisoner, fool. I will leave. For new lands. Sigurd, what is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga. In England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon. Other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. Stirbjorn Jarl. Our men were killed as we patrolled nearby. And the word is... Eivor swung the axe. What? If the dead could speak, what would they say of their deaths, Wolf Kissed? They would tell you how they offered us insults, and how I slew them for it. As the dead cannot defend themselves, a Vergelt is wanted. Fifty weight of silver for each life. By law. Fifty weight? You will have it from me. A parent must pay the price of his children's folly. That was generous, Lord. Why England? Why throw away all you have for such an uncertain future? Here you could be a king's hero, Eivor. Your name known all across Harold's many kingdoms. No. I will not be captive to another man's gaudy design. My destiny is my own to weave. Eivor speaks for both of us, father. You gambled your honor and you lost your family. I hope the trade was worth it. Anger and sadness wrestle for my heart. But I am glad you'll leave this place alive. Okay, it is done. We don't have many materials, but we have a few. We can build a base settlement. Let's row! Years is over, you weeping sacks of wool! Put some muscle into those pools! Ration your strength, dog. We have an ocean to cross. All right, you lazy back route. Sigurd, what's our course? The sons of Ragnar established a settlement near the coast. We set sail for that. Ragi, sing a song to lift our hoop. To rouse the gods! Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way! An ocean lies before us, Eivor. And on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your travels. I spent a season in their kingdom of Mercia. A temperate land, lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Raven Clan and the glory we brought to that fractured land. So to England! Glory and destiny! To England! To England! Or Valhalla! To England we go! Yay! I can't wait. We're going home! My home. My backyard. And I can't wait to begin. Oh, I didn't expect that. To England we go, leave Norway. Good riddance.
In a lecture at the University of Cambridge, Dr. Sirka told a worried audience that scientists have few answers for them. Since the mass coronal ejection of 2012, the strength of the Earth's magnetic field has increased by a factor of 50,000. This has resulted in huge disturbances in radio and satellite communications, dangerous bands of radiation around the poles, and as we can all see from our window, an aurora borealis that never burns away. Unfortunately, we are stumped as to why this is happening, and if we cannot find an answer soon, it may change the way we live, the way we communicate, even the way we evolve forever. Dr. Sirka went on to say, Bought you more electrolytes? Oh, new and improved citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean. How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? So they reckon Eivor is the king, is the, not the king, is the, it, it, he could potentially solve this. This world crippling issue, he can solve. You're a long How? way from home, Eivor. Mm. So is this England? This is where he dies? Hmm. Only one man. Can save the world right now. An old Viking called Eivor. Oof, mint tea is not actually tea, Bex. It's an infusion. It's really just dirty minty water. I don't care what you call it, Sean. Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. Hey, sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How is the Animus data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec and you can jump back in. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well, most of North America just lost its GPS service, so... Depends what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in. Losing satellites as well? Mm. I went through hell to bring you here. It had better be worth it. Please enjoy your stay. Remember, all the garbage must be packed out, and please water the plants once a day. Yeah, I won't remember that. Must always You gonna the put plants. this in the fridge, Sean? Of course. In half a minute. Remember, tomatoes go on the counter, not the fridge. Right, let's go, guys. Back in the Animus again. Let's continue the story of Eivor. Let's see how he links to this crazy modern All right, world. Alright, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead. Layla, you okay? Sorry. Can you play the message again? We have the transcript. If you're looking for something, I can no, go and... No, I want to hear it. Okay. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just... That message led us here. To this place. To a Norse grave in North America. So those bones out there are the only lead we have. Our only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. Here it is. We're in North America? What? I lived. I died. And now I sleep. And in my sleep, I dream. And in my dreams, I see an end to the doom that will grip the Earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Find the mad one. Find me. And save us all. Unsettling, that is. That pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? 
Nothing I can find. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. Find the mad one, find the wolf kissed, and find me. Who? Who's the unknown voice? That's what I want to know. So we should now be arriving in England. There she is, England, our new home. Yay. Not a patch on Norway, but we'll make this land our own soon enough. I'm glad to see any land at all. And we'll be happy to have my feet on solid ground again. We must not rush our landing. All you see here is Saxon territory. The Kingdom of Mercia, largely unpacified. There will be eyes watching us from the trees, with bows drawn and traps set. We must be wary. Randy! Taking your oars, all standing. Have you spotted something? Not yet. But let us go ahead to clear the path of any dangers. Then follow our lead when the sun brushes the horizon. Understood. May Thor bless you all on your way. We will see you soon. Sail on. Yes. I'm ready for whatever these green thumbed fairy folk have to throw at us. Sigurd, do the sons of Ragnar know that we're coming? They do not. But well, they will not scoff at our visit. Of the four kingdoms in England, the sons of Ragnar have settled only one. The rest is ripe for the taking. Do we mean to join their army? No. No. We will speak with them, get the lay of the land, and carve this country into as many pieces as we see fit. Look ahead there. Is that what passes for a town? Plain brick in a single rune to their timid god? That rune is called a root, Doug. The cross upon which their god was sacrificed. It sits atop a monastery, a place of worship. That cross killed their Christ, and now they display it in worship? Bizarre. We carve idols of our gods and make wishes before them, like our sacrifices to Odin, the one-eyed. But we do not worship the wolf that kills him. That is the difference. Whatever strangeness we see in these Saxons, they must think the same of us. The hammer! Now there is a symbol worthy of a god. A bolt of lightning would take that cross clean off. Love how they're debating each other's religions. What is that stupid cross doing there? It makes no sense. It all doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it never does. Look there! What are they doing? Ritual drowning. Baptism, Doug. Are the ways of Christians really so unfamiliar to you? Not at all. I simply forgot. And someone has to keep the conversation up. It must be priests and worshippers alone in that place. We could storm this port with ease. Sack it without breaking a sweat. Is there much in the way of treasure there? Always! They shape precious metals and cut jewels to their gods. There will be a fortune there. Later, Dag. There will be time enough for raiding once we have settled. Where do we settle? That is the question. Come Needs to be to somewhere safe. The boats. Pull up over there. The way forward is blocked by a chain spanning the river. We must ah. remove it before pressing on. A chain? Can we cut through it? It's too thick for access. But there must be a way to release it somewhere in that camp. I will go. And I will be right behind you. No, Dag. You stay here. Should trouble come our way, I want you defending the ship. A good idea. Send out the arrow and keep your sharpest axe at hand, huh? Something like that. <laughs> That's not what he meant. You idiot. See you later. Well, I'll be seeing you later, my friends. I won't be long. Release the naval chain. Yeah, obviously the boat cannot get through that. For obvious reasons. I'm guessing it's going to be guarded. Yeah, there we go. Knew it. This place is heavily guarded. It is. Can I drop down there? Oh, yeah. 
Oh, I think they may have seen that. I <laughs> don't know how. You meant to drag the body in, you idiot. You meant to hide it. Now they're all a bit sheepish and worried. For obvious reasons, I guess. to release this chain and get out of here. Easy. It's all good. It's all good. You saw nothing, my friends. Just your imagination. This chain is huge. And poorly anchored, it appears. I might be able to shoot it. You can shoot the anchor? Okay, I'll give it a go. And whoops. Done. Path is clear. Did I do that? Chain is away. Uh -oh. Hey boy, back to the boat. We should be close. Barry any more surprises. They do seem a little bit scared, don't they? Ha ha ha. The ship's there. It's ready to go. I did see There's a couple of bits down here. I can maybe grab. That's some ore. <laughs> Taking it. Anything else worth grabbing before we go? Maybe we should go now. We are good to go, my friends. <laughs> Luckily, the water shouldn't be too cold, so we uh, we should be safe now. I'm still I'm sure it's very chilly still. I mean, it's still England, but not quite the same as Norway. That was uh, fairly simple. Time work. I say we go back, Sigurd. Give those dogs a good knock around and take whatever treasures they have. Easy pickings. Not today, Dad. We press on until we reach our goal. We cannot afford another surprise. Now be on your guard. It should not be far. Gods, I'm ravenous. I hope they have food and ale on hand when we arrive. You should have sent word ahead of us, Sigurd, to get something on the spit. If Havdan, Uba, and Eva Ragnarsson are lacking food in England, then all of us will starve. <laughs> have no worry. Ah, I can see it now. A suckling pig tender and juicy, and ale as gold as the treasures that we failed to steal back there. A man of simple pleasures, aren't you, Dag? And he... Here for it. Oh. For my part... I look forward to standing in the footsteps of the giants that built this land. What giants? The great Romans and their empire. Giants of a forgotten age. They held dominion here long ago, and their ruins dot the landscape. Every brick and stone tells a story of conquest and glory. And now, they are rubble and ash. Ready to be remade. We will rebuild their empire, brick by brick. And ours will not crumble to dust. All things end, dog. Ruins are not a warning. They are a testament. Look there, just ahead. Where the sons of Ragnar make their camp. At last, to find our feet on steady ground. Sigurd, hold back. Something isn't right. Good eye. There is too little movement for an army. Only tents and a few men. Not the army we hope to find. No. Let us get a closer look. So there should be more men there? It does look very quiet. Very suspicious. Something has happened here. I don't know what it is. They're too ragged and soiled. We should proceed on foot, unless they spot the boats. Dag and I will go together. We all go. If they are friends, I wish to meet them as a yard. And if they are foes, then we fight them all, together. They don't look particularly friendly, to be honest, but... There we go. This Who will be are these men? They speak with twisted accents. English, no doubt. 
Tak, Eivor! Eivor! On me! Kohtas, Jaudek! Should we get out? Yep. <laughs> What's this? Oi. A mess of filthy Danes befouling our riverways? You there. Give us your name. I am Sigurd Jarl of Fornberg. And you are... Men who do not take kindly to Dane invaders creeping into our camp. You'd best move along, pagan. Spare yourselves a slaughter. You threaten those men with a play of swords and expect us to cower? I have been eight days at sea without a drop of blood to wet my axe. So spare the chatter, Bakarout, and draw your weapon. Well, that was a good Let's chat. All right, fair them. enough. Kill these heathen bastards! Eat my axe and swords. Like one gone already. Stop this one out. Whoa, what was that? What was that? I have no idea. It feels good to have blood on my weapon again. I love this weapon. It's so good. So good. Oh, I don't that's what it was. So I'm through sand in my eye. Dust in my eye. You're mine. Stay away from me. Oh, shank. <laughs> Man, I love when this weapon gets going. It's oh, right in the head. Who's left? Doing terrible though. Being at sea also made me a little bit rusty. Ouch. There's no indication when they're going to attack. There we go. Head stop. This guy's got a spear. <laughs> Fair enough. A bigger battle than I expected. And look at Sigurd's sword. Jeez. That is a long sword and a half. I think this is where we settle, actually. Yeah, I recognise it. That wasn't too bad. Got hit a few times. A bit rusty. All of you. I want no more surprises. Right. I'll check the longhouse. Hopefully, they've left some stuff behind as well. Looks a little bit overgrown. Looks good, though. It feels a bit like home, actually. Anyone here? Wait. Who are you? Are you with those brigands as well? Sigurd, Dag, in here. Those men had prisoners. You there, untie us. Let us walk and we will not hurt you. Quite bold in those bindings. I like your spirit. We are very agreeable people, I promise. You need not kill us. Peace, friend. We have no need or wish to hurt you. What are your names? Yenli. I'm a merchant, not a bandit like those others. And this is Rowan. Rowan, that's right. I'm a stable hand, that's all. I keep horses and, well, I did. Till those brigands sold them off. They meant to sell us next, as slaves to the nearest bidder. But I wrecked their eyes out before I let that happen. And how did you find yourselves here? We came to trade with the sons of Ragnar, at Halfdan Jarl's asking. But they were gone when we arrived. Unbind them. You know the sons of Ragnar? I sold many a mare and stallion to the brothers. Good men. Always paid me fair. 
From the look of this camp, they've been gone for some time. Where will you go now? What will you do? Repeat my stocks. Start anew. I have friends and allies across the land to aid me, but it won't be easy. Every town and village needs a stable to keep horses fit and trim. I'll find my footing again, somewhere. What are you thinking? That we could use their skills as we get settled. Having access to trade and someone to tend our mounts would be a boon. My thoughts as well. Any friend of the Ragnarsons is a friend of mine. Right, Dag? Whatever you think is best, Sigurd. Janli? Rowan? I am Sigurd Jarl of Thornberg, son of Stilbjörn. This is Eivor and Dag. Both of you are free to go, but more than welcome to stay if you're willing to pull your weight. We'd be happy to, if only to get back on our feet. Then let it be done. The Raven Clan welcomes you. From strangers into friends into family. The others have arrived. Come. I have a good feeling about this place. Honored family, friends, welcome to your new home. With a little bit of work, this could be a mighty fat home. Our settlement. Our base operations in England. Is it a worthy home? I hope so. Fine work. A long house to rival any I've seen. Now come. Ranvi has found something I would like you to see. Eivor, Sigurd, I give you England and its four kingdoms. Mercia, East Anglia, Northumbria, and Wessex. From the few plans and maps I discovered here, I believe the sons of Ragnar have pushed further into Mercia, here. My scouts will soon tell me if I am correct. And where are we? Here. ...and this unnamed copse of trees. Unnamed? We cannot let that stand. What will we call this place? I might have an idea. Ravensthorpe. The village of ravens. Hmm. I like it. The poet in you sings once again. One day, this name will be known throughout all of England. A name is only a beginning. If we want renown, we must build. Expand. Agreed. We should begin with a forge. Can you help Gunnar get working again? We'll need cargo, supplies. For that, our neighbors will provide, whether they wish to or not. Scarcely arrived, and now we must raid. We cannot master this land merely by asking. I'll go and speak with Gunnar now. Good work, my dear. And what else? Right, so we need to get a... Basically, merchants, weapons, basic stuff on board. And Gunner might need a little bit of assistance. We don't have four skill points to spend. I should definitely spend those. Straight away. With no hesitation. Uh, so we was here. So ranged damage has increased. Yes, it has. Uh, do I want to go down a, a different path, maybe? Yeah, go down this way. Heavy resistance. Okay, 
plus five heavy resistance. That's that's good. That's very good news. Uh, we've got one more skill point. Melee damage plus two point three. So our power is now nineteen overall. Not too bad. Uh, I think it might be time to just equip the best gear we have, basically. I think that's probably the way to go. I don't have any better bows at the moment. Uh, Weapon-wise... Uh, I think I slightly prefer the axe, but... Yeah, I do quite like it. We use it for a bit longer, this iron star. It's pretty decent. Some Berserker braces. I think this might be a part of the Deluxe Edition or whatever they've called it. <laughs> Limited Edition. Yeah, that's a, that's a good little good little set of armor there. Not bad, not bad. Also, we've got a couple of runes. I don't know if we have any runes slots available in our weapons or armor. I'll have a quick look. Uh, infantry. Actually, we do have slots available. I was not aware of this. So, runes, health. Yep. There we go. Nice little boost to health. And with our helmet, got a bit of extra stealth damage. Nicely done. Uh, what about weapons? Do we have any slots for weapons before we continue? Uh, we do not. These do, though. Oh, okay. Maybe we should switch out of the weapons. Maybe we should. I would like that. Increase speed after each hit up to 10 times. That's a bit mad. Let's do base attack damage. I could go for two axes. Actually, I could put a rune also on my shield. Let's do that. Yeah. Axe and shield. All my runes have now been used. Lovely. Right, Gunner, what help do you need? I can assist. Let's try and settle in England. Not a bad and place, decide our Abel. next path. Not at all. Can I help you with anything? Can I help you? Sigurd wants your forge up and running as soon as possible. For that, we need supplies and riches. Ah, you mean to go a Viking then? Good, good. How I miss those days. Ransacking and pillaging. Blade singing and shield splintering. <laughs> <laughs> I would ask you to join us, but you are the only blacksmith we have. We cannot afford your loss. Oh, it's no bother. Better I forge axes than swing them. My place is here, not pulling on the oar of a river horse. <laughs> Though you do remind me, I found a map among the bandits' rubbish, marked up with the locations of Saxon monk huts. Yes, bandits know as well as we do. Monasteries are full of riches and loot. Take the map with you, and put it to better use than they did. Did our um, assassin brotherhood brothers also follow us as well to England? I've not seen him since we arrived. They might have followed us, I don't know. God. Anyway, take command of our longship. We are officially in England and I love it. Uh, monastery raids. So There's that's where the wealth all. supplies will be. That's also how we, we upgrade. Our settlement as well. That tomorrow we may build. At last, we will crack these Christian monasteries like a row of hen's eggs. The, sail here. the Saxons know we are here, Don. The monasteries will be well guarded. Ah, but nothing more than priests and prayers, I'd wager. Let the sail. Yes. Our first proper raid <laughs> in England. Yes, we've settled, and we are Vikings. You guys are screwed. I am excited. Let's do it. These little stupid boats. Get out of the way. Get out of my way and stop wasting my time. Is this the first raid here? 
I said quick look. I think it might be. I'm pretty sure it is. Look at that wealth. Oh, there's so much stuff to do right now. So these are pictures that people have posted, which is pretty nice. Nice little additions. Sync up points there as well. So much to do. But the raid begins. Yes. Guess who's arrived? Raven Clan. Vikings have arrived. You guys are screwed. Yep, I see it. I'm coming in. I'm coming in. You can't stop me. These guys are running scared. <sighs> and we're in. You guys are screwed. Go meet your god. I don't have time those parries. Spend a bit more time practicing that, I guess. Yes. Oh. Okay then. <laughs> I love some of the kills in this game, man. So good. I don't have time to like even decide I want to try and parry that. So it will time. It will come with time. It will come with time. Do some practice. Rage. <laughs> Go on, kill him. Hit him! Smash him! You die How did he keep blocking that? That was annoying. Oh, who's left? There's a few idiots left. Go. One more, and that's it. Potentially. I'm coming in! Give me your treasures! Look at that. Oh, false open. Might need some assistance. There's so much treasure in here. It's just, yeah. Look at the chest. That is all oh. we need for Gunner. Beautiful. But if there's more, we should claim it. I agree. Get as much as possible. Keep looting, my brothers. Do not stop. Still alive. Not for long. So I think there's one more building. There does seem to be guards in here, but that's fine by me. Coming up! Wherever you are. How do I get in there? Maybe there's another entrance. I promise you I will find it. Maybe you can force the door open now. Yeah. Here we go. Come, help me with this. There's riches behind this door, and I want it. Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> like it? Anyone else? Oh. Go and try it. Do it. <laughs> How do I keep going then? He just does that. So I attack once and he just parries it. Weird. Not what that is. I have to look, I have to, I have to look into that. So I'm doing the rage. I'm grabbing him on the floor. I hit him. He blocks. I can slowly hit him again. I'm I'm doing it wrong. I have to have a look. Anyway. We got what Give we wanted. Hand over here. There we go. Another achievement. achievement. Red page. Yes. My first raid in England. It is done. Doors now open as well. Plenty of supplies. Uh, return to Gunner. I'm hoping uh, we can. Sorry, that went into a photo mode there. Just fast travel back. You're right down there. Get back up, my brother. The fight is not done yet. Still a little bit of fighting going on. I just watch your brother getting hit. Aid him. Pick him up. 
fly alongside him. Oh, ooh, who are you? Got a lot of health. Yeah. Oh. you on a pike. <laughs> Try to take him out. Have some axes. Oh! Won't survive, fool! Done him in. I guess he was like the mini boss in the area. Not good anymore, I'm afraid. Thinking that might be it. I think the raid might be done. My thanks, Eivor. It is okay, you are my brother. There's so much stuff to go and get <laughs> near me as well. I'm guessing we can fast travel back here now? At least that's what I'm hoping. There's a bit more wealth and stuff we can grab. I probably should, as I'm new here, I should probably go and grab that. It's inside the church. It's just like a small chest, it's not a big chest. Pretty still worth getting. There it is. Nice little cooking pot as well. Right, while I'm here, I might as well sync up. Might as well. Uh, there's also a few wealth upgrades, a few mysteries nearby. There is also a knight. And normally they're a little bit OP. So I'm going to try and avoid them if possible. Yeah, I'm not ready for that fight just yet. Maybe one day, but not today. <laughs> not today. I think they're maybe power level 90 or something like that. Sorry, Halsey. Yeah, level 90 is just too high. I think our power is like 90. It's just, it's just no, there's no point. It is pointless. Is there, where does this go to? These stairs. Maybe to the wealth? Maybe? Nah. Nope. Actually, there's another route. No, there's not. <laughs> Gonna smash all the pots. Be a true Viking. This man's probably hiding down here. And I entered his premises, smashed it up, and just left. Oh, that's the that's the knight. Oh, I need to try and avoid him. Not ready for that fight just yet. Let's just try and sync up. If he sees us, basically all I gotta do is run. Run for the hills. There's a sync point. If you guys watched my preview coverage, you may recognize some of these places. Uh, so I believe the preview coverage started basically um, after we landed in England pretty much. So it was like the very, very sort of first entry point. Let's sink up here. Always worth doing. And work out your surroundings. Also, there seems to be a book of knowledge close by. I would love to find. So these are some of the, the Roman uh, leftovers, I guess, that they mentioned on arriving in England. So I believe, see that, that drops and creates a nice little path for us. Ha <laughs> ha! Knowledge is power, my friends. Yes, yes, yes. Definitely worth getting books of knowledge. That, I can promise you. Definitely worth it. Try and slide down. I don't think this is where the book of knowledge is. I think this is where the, the wealth is. But still. Right, where are we going? Down here? Yep. So move this out of the way. Give it a little slide. Slide into those DMs. And get the wealth. Good find. How do we get out of here? Let's go and find this book of knowledge. I can see some stairs. 56 meters away. I'm guessing that is our entrance point. And that is how we gain the knowledge, my friends. Uh, yes. Look at that. 
perfect. Climbing down, maybe? There we go. Also, when we sing Pebble Sea, that's a fast travel point as well. Yes, I'm looting skeletons, alright? Don't judge me. He won't be needing it. It's fine. There's snakes around here. That's a rope. I think we're good. No. Damn it. Who do snakes? Did I get a bit there? Don't think I did. I think we're okay. <laughs> Woo! Guess we can smash this. Yes, it looked fragile. I can hear the book of knowledge. We are close. Very close. Let me guess there's some more rats here, isn't there? Ah, oh, I need to explode this. Yep. Beautiful. I did that last time as well. <laughs> I don't know why I did it again. Yes! Harpoons! Ooh. Roll it off! That burns! Roll it off! Well, you can just ignore me. Jesus. Pressing roll, it just wasn't having it. Alright, let's move this out of the way. So then we can escape. Whee! <laughs> so let's equip a new ability. Obviously, we have ability slots available, so definitely worth equipping. Harpoon, I, I think it's okay. It looks good. Uh, maybe the the level upgrade might be useful. I don't know. But still, I've got some skill points as well. Yeah, keep going this way. Stun and stealth damage. What's this one? The way of the bear. So, I don't know what. So we've we got berserk again, main haven't we? So yeah, so that's not going to benefit that much from it. So there is a piece of, I believe that's, uh, that's armor, right? Is it armor? Yeah, gear. So I did try, I tried to get in there before in the preview. It seemed completely locked. And then I asked the, the demoist, can I get in there? And he said, no. So I'm going to hold off and we're going to head back to the settlement. Oh, this is how we do it. Back so soon. Yep. And we good news, I hope. Very I good news. All... Very good news. So we've got 900 suppliers. Let's use them. That's that's more like it. Yes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, this is wonderful. It is. A forge bigger and harder than my old forge back in Vornberg. Come visit me anytime. For weapons and gear, there is no man better than me. I will, Gunner. Have no doubt. So I believe I can upgrade my my bow if I want to. So I basically gets a, a rune slot available. Eh, not particularly invested in that right now. No, I think we're good. Done for now. Right, yeah, we're good. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. There's Until no real upgrades I want to do yet. Hello, Eivor. Ah, oh, the Creed did follow. They are here. Interesting. Hytham, now that you and Basim are settled, what will you do? We have work to do. Starting in the cities of England. London, Jorvik, Winchester. All three are infested by members of the same order to which Kjotve belonged. But their reach extends much further than this. Of all the lands on Earth, I believe England is the most overrun. Do they cause here the same turmoil Kjotve caused in Norway? Not just turmoil. They spread a plague of delusion, teaching men and women to abase and abuse themselves in exchange for power. You have strong feelings about this. Of course. This is the sole purpose of the Hidden Ones, to liberate the body and spirit of man from any unnatural shackles. But we have not operated in England for over four centuries. Since the fall of the Roman Empire, the Hidden Ones have not had a presence here. This absence has given the Order of the Ancients ample room to grow and thrive. Our task will not be an easy one. But with a bureau, Basim and I could begin our work. 
If you have the time and spare resources to build one, we would be most grateful. I will see what I can do. I can I can give that a go. What do you need exactly? I mean, we have the supplies right now. Okay, yes, do it. Hidden One Bureau can be built. Enjoy. So we need to keep them rates actually. If we want to keep improving our settlement. Yeah, we need to make a lot of upgrades. I think he likes it. This will make a fine space for my work, Eivor. Thank you. Well, if your work benefits us, I will see that you keep it for as long as you live among us. I believe it will, for we have common cause against our enemy. They have dug their claws deep into England. Eradicate them where they are strongest, and the alliances you seek will be far easier to come by. In London, they now operate without restraint. If you were to eradicate them, the city would be in your debt. I will talk with Ranry about your idea. Get her thoughts. Good. Yet, before you do, there is something else. A gift I wish to share. A gift? I cannot show you here. Will you walk with me? I'm ready. Let's do it. I will. Lead on. Show me. I, I do like gifts. Very much. Stealth! <laughs> I hear heaviness to your breathing, Hytham. Does your wound still trouble you? It does, I'm afraid. There is a pain in my chest for which I have no remedy. Rest easy, then. So long as your mind stays sharp, you will recover. Of course. Though I am reluctant to displease my mentor. You would risk your health and your life to please Basil. That I do not understand. I should not expect you do. When we first arrived, I noted a shadow of suspicion in your eyes. A doubt. A wariness. Is that a question? No. Only an observation. Where are we going exactly? To serve the light. This might actually be a proper mission. I didn't realize. <laughs> are you well enough to steer this boat? I am. Have no worry. It is only prolonged stresses that exhaust me. My energy runs low rather quickly. Where are we going? I thought it was just going to hand us the gift. But no, we have to go and get it, fetch it ourselves, I guess. And what is this gift you wish to give me? It will not come from me. It is a gift you must give yourself. More riddles. What fun you are. Let me say it another way. My gift is not for giving or taking. It is a way of living. Well, still no clearer. It is a thing better demonstrated than described. Then I will wait. Forgive my jest. This gift we call a leap of faith. It is one of our Brotherhood's most sacred rites. Ah. It is not a tool we use against our enemies, but an act we embrace to strengthen our resolve. Like your meditation, it centers our minds. Steadies our hands and purges fear from our hearts. And more practically, it aids our movements in flight or in stealth. You call it a leap, and we are climbing a rather steep hill. <laughs> there it is again, the shadow of a doubt. So we're going to do the leap of faith. That is what he's going to teach us. Come on! I suspect you mean to throw me from this cliff, is that it? Please tell me if I'm near the mark. And spoil the surprise? A hidden blade? To perform leap of the faith? leap of faith, you must give yourself over to something greater. The gods? Yourself. Embrace the hope that death will not come before you are prepared to meet it. Believe this, and you will fear nothing. Our deaths are prefigured. Weaved into the fabric of the world. To fear this would be a waste of worry and tears. Good. Then your mind is already attuned to my lesson. We're going to jump from here, aren't we? I'm guessing into water. I've not seen any uh, local haystacks nearby. This will be interesting. Yep. This is where we do it. <laughs> You first. I will leap first. On my word, you must follow. 
Lean into your faith, into your strength, and take flight. You want me to jump from here? Yes. I would sooner grow wings and fly away. Thank you for the lesson, but... Uh... Wait! And watch! Hytham! Oh, is he still alive? Is he good? Pick headed fool! Are you We are this haystack? Yeah! A perfect fall! And how did it feel? You spoke true. It was madness and vigor, a purging of fear. A gift I give myself. I see that now. Thank you for showing me the way. Of course. And thank you, Eivor. For hearing me out. You called this leap of faith a sacred rite. Do all hidden ones practice this same ritual? As far as I know, it is a rite of initiation that dates back to just before the birth of the Christian Jesus. Are you hoping to initiate me? I might try if I believed you would join. But that is not my purpose in England. Basim and I are hunting larger prey. The Order of Ancients. Yes. You remember the medallion you took from Kyotve's body? That is their symbol. They are a plague, one we hope to purge from this world. Like us, they act in secret. But their aim is to rule the world, not free it from unnatural fetters. The desire to rule is not unique to this order. Sigurd and I want the same, a land to call our own, and the honor that comes with it. Do not compare yourself to such people. The order has no honor, no principles, no humanity. Yet they sit on a great many of England's thrones. If you seek to pacify England for the safety of your clan... Then it may be in my interest to give you aid. I understand. You desire alliances. We seek to rid England of its deepening rot. Where these hopes meet, our cause does too. You may think this land ruled by harmless jarls and bumbling thanes, yet look more closely and you will find a deeper threat. The Order's invisible hand touches all. It shapes everything, instilling its poison into every level of society. From the lowliest fishmonger to the richest merchants, from wealthy thanes to useless kings, the Order has corrupted all. Bassam has given me one task here. To locate and eliminate the Order of Ancients in England, in whatever dark corners they reside. If we work together towards this end, it will benefit us both. You will have greater influence over the kingdoms of England. And you will have more medallions to count. Exactly. You should begin in London. I have credible reports that the Order is working now to seize the city. I will speak with Ranbury about this. And while you are there, be on the lookout for our symbol. Centuries ago, the Hidden Ones had bureaus built around England. There were six, I believe. If you can find them, Search them well for documents bearing the same symbol. It will greatly aid my studies. I will. Thank you, Hytham. For all of this. Hytham, it has been an honor! Order of Ancients. Ooh. So we've taken one of them out already. There's a long way to go. Wow. Yep. Yeah. Great. Ooh. I found one clue. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. We're going to end it here. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I think it's a good way to end the episode. Doing a leap of faith for the first time in England. I'll see you guys soon. And bye-bye.